Okay, so uh, for our third quarter, we will be tackling about basic computer networking. So uh, before we proceed with uh, uh, the uh, the advanced stuff about basic computer uh, before of uh, computer networking, we should start with being familiar with the network devices that uh, constitutes your computer network. So we will start with a router. So a router is a networking device that forwards data packets between computer networks. Now, uh, let us uh, uh, take a look or let us uh, stop for a moment and uh, let us discuss data packets. Data packets basically are the information which is sent into your computer network. So, for example, uh, you went into, uh, you want to watch a movie or a video in YouTube. So, what the YouTube server does is, uh, so suppose I click this one and uh, I, I, I will be watching this video. So, what uh, the YouTube server does is to uh, divide the video into data packets before sending it out to the network or the internet. So the data packets uh, uh, is transmitted throughout the internet and uh, from uh, the YouTube server going to your home router and uh, to your computer ultimately. So uh, uh, it is recreated, the data packets are recreated back into its, uh, to the, into its video form. Then that is what you see in your browser okay so uh, uh, the thing is there are many routers in the internet so what the router does is uh, oh what routers do is that they uh, forward data packets if they receive a data packet uh, if they receive a data packet they check the address or the ip address so uh, the routers Basically, it's the smart device. It's a smart device because it will uh, pass the data packet to the router that is nearest uh, to the destination. So, uh, so that's what routers do in your computer networks. Uh, continuing, we have a wireless access point. So before the wireless router, uh, there came the wireless access point or simply the access point because there are devices that are uh, that will be connected or uh, that are connected through wire wirelessly so uh, these wi-fi devices can only connect to your network through the wireless access point and of course your wireless access point is uh, connected to your wired network that's the only way your Wi-Fi devices can connect to your network. Now, uh, uh, after some time, the engineers uh, uh, thought that they could merge, uh, and that that is what happened. Wireless access point are merged into the router, which is now your wireless router. That means it has two capabilities. It can connect your Wi-Fi devices in your network, and at the same time, routes your data packets. So uh, uh, usually at your home, meron ito na yung uh, karaniwang makikita nyo in your, uh, at your home uh, if you do not need uh, other devices to connect. But, uh, uh, and it usually has one port for the internet source. Sometimes kapag uh, it's a, uh, if you're a fiber optic uh, if you have a fiber optic connection, wala siyang one port. So the fiber connection is simply your one port and uh, meron siyang four ports, one to four ports na local area network. But PLDT, dinidisable nila yung tatlong ports, yung isang port lang yung gumagana. That means you can only plug in one uh, device. So paano kung gusto mong uh, uh, magkaroon ng uh, two or more wired connection or you want to connect LAN cable because LAN cable is much stable uh, because LAN cable can reach or 
uh, wired connection can can reach gigabit speeds unlike wireless hanggang 600 at as of the moment uh, if you check your uh, devices ang pinakamabilis na connection niya is around 600 mbps so uh, uh, to expand your wired network you can connect that one port into a multi port switch so your switch can come uh, with uh, comes in the five ports eight port 16 port 24 port or 48 port so you can expand your network using switches okay uh, you uh, the, the current standard is uh, the current switches today are gigabit switch meron pa ring mga 10 slash 100 if you see a 10 slash 100 uh, uh, switch that means it can uh, go as fast as 100 mbps only so choose the gigabit switches na now your local uh, or your lan cable naman connects your devices for, uh, to your switches or your to or, or your wireless through a wired connection currently cat6 is the standard to reach one uh, the gigabit speed so if you want a gigabit speed at your home kailangan you switch nyo should be gigabit as well as your lan cable should be cat6 and of course dapat yung uh, ethernet port or lan port ng inyong desktop or laptop should be uh, uh, gigab gigabit uh, ready okay to to verify that you can check your uh, internet settings you can go to adapters adapter options and you can see here if your computer uh, if your port is uh, gigabit ready if you see gb that means it it uh, it allows gigabit connections okay so moving forward uh let us uh first create network diagrams before we move on to the physical stuff let us uh, uh first start with diagrams so that we can understand how can how devices are connected to each other paano ba sila kinoconnect or depende sa requirements ng network nyo okay so we will be using uh, an uh, online app for this one so i want you to use uh, uh, your an, a browser in incognito mode so if you you are using chrome you can use uh, uh, you can uh, switch to incognito mode or if you're using other uh, edge it's the private mode para uh, walang problema kapag nag login kayo using your mca google account kasi if you do not use the incognito mode sometimes it will use automatically your personal gmail account so we do not want that to happen so i'll be uh, posting this uh, url so that you can uh, take a look of a sample diagram that I made. So let me paste this one in your Zoom channel. Okay, so I've already posted a sample diagram and I want someone to uh, to share their screen so that, excuse me, so that I can see that everybody is uh, in the same page with me. So I'll be waiting someone to uh, share their screen. You just uh, ask permission first or at least... Uh, but turn off come on yung aking sharing. So just follow the instruction. After uh, you have to use MCA Google account. Actually, you start 
Ito muna yung bibigay sa na choice. Choose Google Drive as storage. Tapos you will click authorize and log in using your MCA Google account. Then afterwards, you click this link. And now you can open that using the app. Okay, now we can now proceed with uh, our first diagram. Since everybody has already opened diagrams.net, we can now make a sample diagram. So again, these are the common icons or the icons that we will be using for our diagram making or in the creation of our diagram, your wireless router, switch, laptop, desktop PC. If we want to show the cloud, uh, and of course your connection. If you see, if you use an arrow, that means those devices are connected through a LAN cable. If you see this uh, symbol, that means it connects to your uh, wireless router. Okay. So uh, for the first uh, uh, diagram, let us make a diagram of three laptops connected to a single switch. So let us make a diagram of three laptops connected to a switch. I'll be the first one to show how it is done. So I'll just, this one. Let's create a new one. So blank dry, uh, yes. So since we will be using networking icons, uh, kapag wala, pang na, wala pa kayo nakikitang networking icons dito, you just click here, more shapes, then look for the networking category, go to the network uh, box here. So network, click that, check that, then click apply. So we can now see a uh, category of your network icons. So ang sabi, uh, the diagram states that we need three laptops. So just it's just drag and drop. Drag and drop. This is your laptop. Drag and drop. And you have your switch. So this must be your switch. Okay. So uh, uh, the first, uh, you need to connect this. Uh, using a LAN cable. So after clicking the icon, you can see a, an arrow here. Click, then hold. Then you drag it until it reaches your device that it needs to connect to. So this one again, if you see the arrow sign, click hold, then release. Again, this one, click. Uh, okay, if you see the arrow sign, you can click that arrow sign and you drag that until it reaches the device. Okay, so you have your three laptops connected uh, using a LAN cable to your switch. Okay, so what I want you to do right now is to, to show me your own version of this diagram one. Okay, so let me show you again the requirements, this one. And let me stop sharing this. Okay, for diagram two again, uh, Mike, uh, make a diagram of a wireless router connected to a switch. Two laptops connects wirelessly to the router and one desktop connects directly to the switch. Before I give you the go signal, I want to show you how a device is connected wirelessly. So uh, again, let me share to you the, uh, the diagram I've shown to you earlier. Let's just change this to a wireless router. Okay, Mr. Sumagaisai. I'll use this one. Uh, okay, so I'll use a wireless router here. Yeah. 
uh, this is a uh, 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 ano ito? it's a Linksys actually it's a Linksys wireless router now uh, uh, how can I show kanina alam natin na connected siya through a uh, uh, cable by connecting an arrow right pero paano natin malalaman na this is connected wirelessly so we will be showing a wireless connection. There you go. So yan. To, to see, uh, para malaman natin that this is connected wirelessly, so gagawa, lang, maglalagay lang tayo ng wireless, uh, wireless icon next to the uh, device. So that means this laptop is connected wirelessly to your wireless router. Okay. So uh, I'll give you now time to uh, to create your own diagram. So again, if you are through, just uh, give me permission. Unmute your mic. Tell me that you want to share your uh, screen. Osada's permission to speak. So let us update your diagram. Make a diagram of a wireless router connected to the in internet and to a switch. One laptop is connected. Uh, one laptop is connecting to the wireless router. Oh, wait lang. Huh? Uh, okay, and one desktop is connecting to the switch. Okay. So one laptop is connected to the wireless router and one desktop is connected to a switch. So can let us look at your uh, screen again. So let me. Okay, so that is the correct diagram. You have your uh, your your router connected to the internet using uh, cable. It can be fiber or copper. Your switch connected to your router. Your desktop PC connected to your switch, and your computer or laptop connected to the wireless router. Okay, so let me share my screen again. Okay, so uh, diagram two, we're through with diagram two. Now, uh, uh, before we, we will now be introducing a virtual network. So what I did is to create a uh, virtual network. Kasi uh, to complete your diagram, we will be including IP address. And to know IP address more, uh, we will be creating a virtual network that we will be using later on. So IP address on the other hand. So let, let me introduce to you the IP address. So IP address, is it is an identifier. It is a number composed of uh, uh, four numbers separated by dots, which is unique to every computer. It is the only way uh it can uh, uh, the network knows where to send the information or the data packets to okay that's why we need to have a an ip address such uh, which is the same as your postal address or your email address to identify a certain device on the network so uh uh let me show to you a uh, a virtual network. So, uh, where's my virtual network? Okay. I cannot enter. Okay, I'll just make a new one. So what I did is gumawa ko ng virtual PCs which is connected in this way. So I have a router that is connected to uh, to three computers. So let's call these three computers. Let's call this. Let's add text. Let's make a 
Okay. Let's call the first computer ComLab1. Okay. So ComLab1, this is, let's duplicate that. Let's call this ComLab2. And let's uh, duplicate that again. Let's call this ComLab3. Okay, so uh, uh, let's call the router router, of course. So let's call this the router. So let me show you the virtual network that I created, which is connected in this diagram, okay? Okay, so there you go. So I have three computers. This is ComLab 1. I'll minimize it para makita nyo. I have ComLab 2. ComLab 2 here and this is your ComLab 3. So I want, uh, I'll be introducing you uh, network command prompt network tools that we will be using to verify the IP address of each uh, device. Now, uh, let me open again the uh, this one and let us go to the Windows command prompt network tools. So we will be using these commands to check the network configuration of our or tools to check the reachability of one device to another. So the first one is the IP config command in your Windows uh, command prompt. And it is short for IP configuration. Okay. So it is a network tool to check uh, the current network configuration of a computer. So this is how you write your IP config on your uh, win, uh, your MS, uh, your command prompt, IP config. Okay, so let's get back to our virtual PC. Let us maximize this one. I'll be using IP config. So as you can see, uh, this is the IP address of my computer, ComLab1. It's 192.168.0.136. So let us update our... Uh, uh, let us update our network diagram because our network diagram won't be complete without the IP address. So it's one important information that is needed in your network diagram. So how about ComLab2? So let us go back to your virtual PC. Let's open your ComLab2. Maximize the MS-DOS prompt. And... Use IP config again. So the IPv4 address now is dot one three two dot one three two. Okay. So let us again update your ComLab two such that its IP address is one nine two one six eight dot zero dot one three two. And finally, the ComLab three. Uh, I think I made a. Uh, I made changes uh, to this a while ago. I'll just delete the changes. Okay. And uh, let us maximize. Okay. So let us input the command I can IP config. And we can see that the IP address of this one is 192.168.0.102. So let us update your uh, 
diagram 192.168.0.102. So as you can see, uh, they are unique in, uh, they have unique uh, IP addresses. How about the router? So uh, let me uh, uh, clear, uh, clarify that switches do not have IP address. Only routers as well as your devices that connects to the network. Okay? Si switch, wala siyang IP address. Okay, so in this case, si router, titignan natin kung ano yung IP address niya. And you can actually see the IP address of your uh, net or the IP address of your router by looking at the gateway. So looking at Comlab 1, for example, the gateway, the default gateway in your IP config result is 192.168.0.1. This is actually your router. And it has the same. If you look at Comlab 2, you will see the same result. The default gateway is 192.168.0.1, meaning that your router is your 192.168.0.1. The default gateway is actually the router in your network. So let us duplicate that. 192.168.0.1. Okay. Now, we now have a working... Uh, computer network. Okay, so let us use other um, command prompt tools to check the 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 connection of of our computer network. Okay, so the next command that I'll be introducing you is the ping. It's the ping. Now, ping is used to test the reachability and the latency. When we say latency, it is the length of time for the test result to complete kasi the, what the ping does is your is the computer the orig, the originating computer sending the ping packet will send a ping packet to the destination the computer and uh, when the computer replies babalik siya doon sa sa sender and uh, we will see kung gaano katagal nangyari yung process na yon so uh, looking again, uh, going back to Comlab, let's try Comlab 1. Okay. Let's try to ping your router. So what is the format of your ping command? The ping and your router, 192.168.0.1. So in this case, it took only the average at uh, Time or the last latency of my ping is three meters per uh, three milliseconds, which means it takes on uh, it takes the ping packet one point five milliseconds to go to your originate uh, to your destination computer, which is your router. And uh, kapag na receive na ng router, sabi niya I'm here, so kaya nagreply siya. Bumalik siya doon sa pinabalik niya yung packet to the sender. So it took only around three meters, uh, three meters again, three milliseconds uh, to complete the process. The lower the latency, the faster the network. Like for example, I can actually ping google.com. It's not, uh, it can also ping servers in the internet para ma-check if you really have connection or how fast your connection is. So it took the ping packet around, so the average is around 32 milliseconds. Pag tumataas ito, that means uh, there is, uh, the, the length of time is uh, higher, that means the slower your network is. Nakuha? So the, the lower the latency, the faster, the higher the latency here, the slower your network. Okay, so uh, now let us do another test. In our network, if we look back to our network, wala, meron ba tayo nakikita ang dot 192.168.0.2? Okay, let's try to ping that. What will happen if we ping a certain IP address that is non-existent? 
or wala in our network. So let us try to do that in our virtual computer. So let us try to ping 192.168.0.2 and let us see what happens. Okay, so there you go. Destination host unreachable. So what this means or what it means is uh, there is no, uh, the computer cannot uh, it cannot uh, find any 192.168.0.2 in your network. Okay? So that is destination host unreachable. Now, what if, let's have another case. What if there are two computers having the same IP address? Okay? So let's make that happen. Alam natin na si... Uh, in our in our network, si want uh, gawin natin si comlab three i dot one three two. Gawin natin na si uh, or gawin na lang natin dot one. For example, I will configure this comlab three to uh, to be dot one. So let's see what happens. So let's go back to the virtual PC. Let's open up ComLab3 and let us statically assign. When we say static kasi, uh, when you have a router kasi, it automatically uh, provides the IP address for each uh, device. Kaya usually it's plug and play. But uh, there are times that we need to statically assign our, our uh, computers, lalo na if it's a server para alam mo kung ano yung address niya and if you want uh, the service uh, of that server you have to make it a static uh, IP so how do you do that you just right click this open network and sharing so this is the open uh, network and sharing click the local area network connection properties and I'll be changing the IP address into That one. 192.168.0.1. That one. So, before I click OK, tingnan muna natin na if there are no problems in the network, I can, I can, of course, I, I have an internet because there's no problems in the network. Okay, now, suppose, yun nga, I'll activate this na. Okay, so this time, let's verify na itong si Comlab3 ay ngayon 192.168.01 na. So as you can see, nag-IP config command ulit ako and nakita nating 192.168.0.1 na siya. So that means dalawa na ang 192.168.0.1. Now let's see if meron pa rin internet. Meron pa rin bang internet? Unfortunately, nagkaroon na ng problema yung ating network. Okay. So wala na siyang internet. Because there's a problem in the network already. Nagkaroon ng dalawang pareho. Okay. How about we ping? Tingnan nga natin kung magpiping tayo. Ping 192.168.0.1 So what happens? Okay, request timed out. What does it mean? Ano ibig sabihin ng request timed out? Okay, looking back in your ping command earlier, may tinatawag na TTL. This one, TTL, which means time to live. What does time to live mean? Ibig sabihin, uh, there are 56 tries na pwedeng gawin itong computer na ito. Pag, uh, pagtapos siya ng 56 tries at hindi pa rin bumabalik yung uh, sinend niyang ping packet kasi the idea of ping is magpapadala siya ng ping packet sa destination and yung destination magpapadala ng reply packet. 
Okay? Pag hindi siya nakapagpadala ng reply packet, nagkakaroon ng request timed out. Naubos na yung oras para sa hinihintay niya na makapag-reply yung sender. And kung bakit naman hindi makareply yung sender kasi hindi alam ng network kung sino ba si sino sa dalawa si that one. Kaya never ever have a do uh, an IP address that is the same in your network. Okay? So uh, for your scaffolding, pero of course, uh, I'll be uh, we will still be uh, beating tomorrow but I want you to do this although I can guide you tomorrow so for your scaffolding I want you to create a network this one so make a diagram of a wireless router connected to a switch uh, and this Three laptop is connecting to the wireless router and one desktop and one file server is connecting to the switch. Include the IP address of each device. So this time, IP address is included. Okay, dagdagan ko nga lang to na uh, it is connected to the internet. Make a diagram of a wireless, wireless router connected to the internet and to a switch. To the internet. And a switch. So three laptop is connected to the wireless router and one desktop and one file service connecting to the switch. Include the IP address of each device. 